Okay, this is how I connect to everybody's most favorite chat service using my iPhone. I have uh, VNC on it, and then the uh, fake Mac there is my PC running OS X86, but you could really use Windows too because there's a uh, VNC server for Windows. Um, basically, it connects, and you're able to use the system as if you were actually looking at it. Um, obviously this is on my uh, home Wi-Fi so it's pretty fast but um, it's usable over edge as well it's kind of when I'm out and about I can actually use it um, you can scroll as you can see here uh, you can also resize the screen uh, just as if you were using uh, Safari on the iPhone you can spread your fingers apart to uh, zoom when you um, scroll you use two fingers it's kind of like the uh, minority report where you actually have to use the multi-touch interface to uh, control it it takes a while to get used to you see in this video I um, screw up a couple of times I actually had to edit that there because somebody sent me a uh, private message wasn't really expecting that kind of Murphy's law I can go weeks without anybody sending me a private message and then I shoot a video and I get one um, Basically, it works pretty well. You can um, enter text on it, chat. It refreshes itself automatically. You don't have to uh, hit a refresh or anything like some of the other mobile VNC clients. Um, as you can see right there, that's me saying hi. Now I'm uh, going to zoom in. And you can see I wrote hi there. And you get the uh, on-screen keyboard, just like uh, in any other iPhone application where you're going to enter text. And there's, I put in BRB, be right back. I think everybody knows it means that. The touch response isn't perfect. You do, sometimes it takes a couple of tries. There's the uh, private message and me going, I'm not interested. You can click and drag just like as if it was, you know, uh, using a mouse. And that's VNC on the uh, hacked iPhone.